On today's show, we're going to be discussing alternative finance versus traditional banks, what types of finance you might need and where you can get it from. My guest on today's show is Helene Panzerino, investment readiness advisor and author of a brand new book that's out right now called Funding Your Business for Dummies. I think preparation and research and creating relationships with potential people to help you. You know, when you're in the moment of something, and this is, this is the same for getting help in, the, in selling a business as it is for funding a business, being in the moment that you have need is not the time to start looking for help. You need to start that process long in advance. Whatever the business is, whether you make shoes or you make shirt folders, you, you need to know your numbers. Well, in some, for some figures, like your gross profit margin, um, yes. you should know that number. You shouldn't have to remember it, you should be living it. If you're in your business and you're watching your financials, you're looking at your income, you're, you're monitoring your margin, you're looking at your costs on a regular basis, on a regular basis, because so often people will create a business plan, put it in the bottom drawer and forget about it and not update any of the information, not do monthly management accounts, not check until they're doing their tax returns, possibly at the end of the year or their VAT quarterly returns. Especially in the early stages, you really need to be looking at your financials. I, it, it, I don't think there's, a, what, if there's one thing that people do right now. I mean, you're, you're right in the sense that everybody's looking for funding. And to be, what's great right now is that there is a lot of funding out there. It's just finding the right business for the right funding and letting that funding find you. I think most people, especially at the startup phase, uh, will go to their bank because that's the thing they know. We've grown up with our banks. We've had bank accounts with them. We've had credit cards with them. We've had student loans or other loans with them. So we think to ourselves, mortgages, we'll go to our bank. We might also go to our friends and family, which is sometimes good and sometimes bad, depending on the <laughs> agreements that you have with them, which is why they call it friends, families and fools, or soon to become <laughs> enemies. But if you get, do get turned down by your bank, the thing is to not, you know, you can appeal it. You don't feel like you're a victim, you have no other choice. You can go to another bank as well. But you should also step back and say, actually, have I done this correctly? You know, maybe you need a bit of help and advice to get your documents together, your pitch together, your presentation together. Have I done something wrong too? Equity is, as you say, it's sharing a bit of your company and, and people need to stop thinking about I'm giving away. You're selling shares in your company. So there's a transaction going on where you're giving away some of your equity so that you get investment and sometimes you get more than that. You get networking, you get connections, you get some expertise, you get someone who can bring more business to your business. But there's a mental adjustment that you need when you sell equity that you're comfortable with the fact that you are selling part of your business. For me, and I've always taken this view, some people disagree on the business plan, but I still agree on the business plan. It doesn't need to be a 58 page business plan, it needs to be you know, succinct and clear. For me, it's a roadmap where your business is going and funding is, is part of that. So definitely, I would advocate, start with a business plan. Just, you know, the four basic areas of the business plan, you're looking at finance, you're looking at operations, you're looking at marketing, and you're looking at the executive summary. You need to be looking at the individual investors, the network of investors, and then the general crowd of investors and where they fit in your business now, but also in future rounds really get to know them as people or as a group of investors. It is a relationship. You are selling shares, but you are also getting someone involved, additional governance, paperwork, reporting. You need to know that you can work with these people. And if you want to go on to other kinds of funding, I had a lovely interview with someone that runs a, um, a sharing economy business. He had equity investment up front, but he also wanted to go to the crowd because he realized that his customers wanted to invest in his business. Now you need agreement from the equity investor to say, yeah, that's a great idea, but I'm going to dilute my shareholding as well. I'm Helene Panzerino, I'm an investment readiness advisor, and I would say in terms of funding your business, remember that it takes time. Time, your time, the team's time, and a long time to create a relationship, whether that's for lending or it's for equity. Remember that there's a cost, that's a real cost, paying legal fees or paying accountancy fees, and the cost of your time. So plan for that in your forecasting. Remember to plan. Plan not just for three months or four months or five months or six months of funding, but look beyond that and have a longer term, mid and longer term view.
And remember that there is help and advice and to go look for it, weigh it up and then choose carefully.